In today's tutorial, I'll be walking you through step by step how to plan and start the electrical wiring of a house. So if you are interested, all you need to do is to come closer. I'll be teaching you step by step through the preparation to starting the wiring, the electrical wiring of a house. You are, in fact, you are special and I celebrate you once again. If you are new to this channel, this is Electric Aid and we welcome you to this channel. In today's tutorial, we are discussing how to plan and start the electrical wiring, electrical conduit wiring of a house. We are going to use a self con to start this demonstration. Remember, when we started with the conduit piping, we started with a self con So today, if you remember the drawing at my back, we're going to start with the same drawing of a self con We're going to use a self con to demonstrate to us how to start. And in starting, we need to make preparation. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video. And I would like you to show, up, to show us some love smash the like button, share and subscribe and don't forget to drop your comments, ask questions, please try and ask some questions so that I will be able to attend to your questions and we will flow together. So having seen this, of course we started with this when we were talking about our conduit piping, the conduit piping of a self con and in between our pipes this is a self con this is the entrance this is the entrance door this is another entrance door this is another entrance door so here is our bedroom this is the bed located at this position this is the kitchen this is the bedroom here in our initial demonstration we did not put this light here outside so let me touch or explain this sketch once again before we move on. Here is our DB. It's a single face. It's a single face um, distribution board. And in this demonstration, we don't have any AC. There's no AC. There's no um, water heater. There's no cooker unit. All we have here is just the lighting point. The lighting point and the socket outlet so we have three so three circuits the first circuit is the one that starts from this db look at this db the one that started from here to our switch from the switch to other part but we can also make it such that we take we take our supply from the db look at the db here from the db to this four-way box from the four-way box back to the switch then from this four-way box we locate this light we have two lighting points at this room from here we locate this one there was a fan a, a, a point of fan here where we I, I just omitted it i just removed it for a better understanding of this sketch so from here we located the kitchen from this kitchen lighting point we get back to the switch and from here we get to the um, to the bathroom. So the second uh, circuit ran from here to our first socket. Look at the first socket here. Look at another socket there in the room. We have two sockets here in this room. But this we located from the uh, sit out to the first socket. From the first socket to the kitchen socket. From the kitchen socket to this TV socket. And it ends there. So the third circuit ran from here to this sit out light and from the sit out light to other security lights. But well, now we added another security light outside before the entry, before you enter the building. There is another security light because security is very important. So we're not going to omit, omit any of the security lights on point. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, I think four lighting points for that circuit is okay. In this particular one, we have, we have one, two, three, four. 
four is okay for this circuit. Then in our socket outlet, we have one socket, two, three, and four. They are okay. So today we want to look at the wiring. We want to look at the preparation before we start wiring. In wiring of a building like this, remember we are talking about the lighting point and the socket outlet. So in lighting, we make use of wires, we make use of 1.5. We make use of 1.5. So in the wiring of the lighting point, we make use of 1.5 red. 1.5 red. We make provision for the black. The black. We have 1.5 black. Then when we talk about the socket outlet, we make use of 2.5 red. We make use of 2.5 black 2.5 black and uh, 2.5 green green so in this preparation we've seen the things that we need the wire that we need we'll be needing a fisher or we call it fishing tape we need a fisher that will enable us run the wires inside our conduit pipes all we need to do at this stage is just to run our wire we run our wire how do you get the quantity of wires that you need based on the calculation on the measurement you need to measure you need to make an, an assumption measure you are not actually going to use the the rule to start measuring your pipes no you are going to make a rough estimate of these wires, this 1.5 red and 1.5 black. This 1.5 red and 1.5 black are the two wires that you use for your lighting points. Of course, the lighting points, you don't need the green wires for your lighting points. So, if you check the lighting points, and you want to buy let's say red you want to buy two bundles black one bundle you take note of that or if your red will be three bundles you take note of that three then black will be two because the two of them cannot be equal the red should be higher than the black because the red is going to travel more than the black i'll show you why then in terms of your sockets, in terms of the sockets, we check this red 2.5. Don't use anything less than 2.5 during your socket wiring, except the green. The green, the 1.5 can go with the 2.5 black and the 2.5 red. So don't try to uh, 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 maneuver these two. This red and black must be 2.5. This must be 2.5, this must be 2.5. Remember the red, the green is acting, is the act. You should, the, the green is the act wire. So you don't, you mustn't use 2.5. 1.5 can go. If you have the 2.5, fine. So now let's look at how to check the wires that you need. Each bundle, each bundle, should give you at least 100 meters. Each bundle of this should give you 100 meters. Each bundle of this should give you 100 meters. Some are uh, calculated in years. If you want to go for years, remember it will not be up to 100 meters. Or 100 years may not give you the length required. It's better for you to go for 100 meters if you want to get a better um, length of wire. Now, when you start your wiring, when you start your wiring, for instance, always start the wiring from the DP. Look at your DP here. The reason why you need your mebush here at the DP is because you will start your wiring from the DP. And each time you start your wiring from the DP, you put your fishing tape from the closest Outlet. For instance, if you want to start with the 
with the socket outlet. For instance, we are starting with the socket outlet, which is one of the simplest. You need this tray. You need the 2.5 red, 2.5 black, and your 2.5 green, or 1.5 green and do the work as well. So all you need to do, all you need to do is to is to direct your fishing tape. You need to direct your fishing tape from this socket outlet. You put it from this socket outlet so that it will come out here at the distribution board. Why someone will be here to, to, to feed you with the red, with the red, the red, black, black, and your green. This is the live wire, this is neutral, and this green is the art wire. So the three of them will be fed to you in such a way that one may be longer. Let's use the one of the 2.5. You peel this one, it will be longer. The black may be longer or the red may be longer. You peel some part of it. Then this red, you peel this red, peel this one. Use this and coil it around this particular one, leaving some parts. This one, the green, will also come and coil on the body of the peeled part of this red. Why this part will be left without folding? So when the fishing tape comes from this nearest point to the board, you will fold it such that the fishing tape has an, open, an opening. This wire will come here and fold back on the body of this wire. So you need to apply some lubricant, like you can use oil, some electricians prefer oil, why some prefer soap, uh, liquid soap to oil. So by the time it, it comes out here, you continue the process. You will continue the process to this point, to that point, and to this point. So while you are doing that, by the time you come out here, you make sure that you leave up to six inches, six inches for the purpose of termination. You leave up to six inches and continue the process. While this deal holds, this whole wire will come here. There are in some cases where some professionals may want to be fast in doing this. If you are a professional, you know how to make it fast. Yes, you know how to make it fast. You can put it from, you can put your fishing tape from here or from there. The fishing tape will come out here and you put it back. Knowing that there will be a reserve of that fishing tape because if you force the fishing tape, it will, it will burn and it will, uh, it, it will cut. So you make a reservation here, send it to this point, reserve it and send it to the board. So by the time you draw this out, you prepare your fishing tape and continue drawing from here. By the time the wire comes out here, you continue until you get to that stage. So here, it is only, it is the red, black, and green wire that will be used for your socket outlets. Why I'm using this sketch is to make it clearer for us to understand and understand it better. So in the case of lighting or lighting points or wiring of the lighting points. What do we do? How do we run the wires? Remember, we are starting. We are just starting today. So, any question you have, remember to drop your question. I will ask answer any of your question. So, if it is in the case of lighting points, all you need to do, you also start from this point. From this point, from this point, you can use a bench. You can use um, uh, uh, a scaffold, a small scaffold to climb up. Then you send your fishing tape to the board. When it comes out here, you are going to feed 1.5 red and 1.5 black. So you send your wires from here to this point. At this point, 
your red and your black, your red and your black will come out at this point. This red that is coming, at this point it will not stop. It will go to your switch. That is where it will stop. By the time your red stops here, you put another red. You put another red that will switch, that will on either this light or this light. And remember, if there is a fan hook there, you will no longer send, this one is not coming here, but you send a branch from here to the point of fan hook. Let's assume this is the point where you have a fan hook to make some extra reservation for this fan hook. Especially if the owner of the house intends putting a POP ceiling here, you don't just cut pipe anyhow. And one secret I want to give you in this tutorial is don't ever try to use joint or join your wire such that it will hide in the pipe. Don't try it. It is a very wrong practice in electrical wiring. So at this point, I am going to end this video because I don't want this video to be long. All I want you to know is to know the primary, the basics. The basic is that in wiring, in wiring of the lighting point, you use 1.5 black and 1.5 red. While in that of sockets, water heater, AC, cooker unit, you can use 2.5. Some people prefer 4 mm in their cooker units. And in that cooker unit, you must use the live, the uh, neutral, and the hard wire. So if you enjoy this tutorial, I just want to make it brief so that it will not be confusing for some of us who are upcoming or beginners. Thank you for watching and don't forget to draw your comment. It is your comments, your questions that will make me know areas you need more of my explanations. Thank you for watching and remain blessed.